Alright, here we are guys. Hole number eight. Typically a tailwind hole for experts, so we'll see if that trend continues. They'll usually do that so a lot of weak drivers can still get up by the green. Guys like a POC 6 and a POC 7 are playing. You know, they can potentially get up into this fairway. And they're probably going with this win that they gave, you know, POC 7, you know, maybe with some kind of power 5 season 10 ball, they can probably slide it up here and they'll be the only guys that can get up there. So typically, they usually like to take that out. Um, however, for whatever reason, this tournament they're not. So... You know, it's probably something that can happen, especially if you have Season 10. Um, otherwise, you'll see the extra mile. Oh, look at that. That's actually going to... That was almost perfectly played. To be able to get that to actually bounce like that, very challenging to do into that wind. Uh, that Everything has to be absolutely perfect for it to bounce over like that. 99% of guys are going to wind up in that rough. But that's more or less how I'm going to play it as well. There's typically no reason to do anything else. So the only thing that you're going to see me do is try to blast it down here. You just need to make sure that that first bounce, foremost, is on the fairway. Sure enough, it is. And as you can see, you know, this ball, it's going to come up well short. It's very tough to get that rollout unless you have a POC 6, a POC 7. Um, but those guys, you know, will have slight advantage. You know, we get it to this fairway does give you a good percentage chance. Now, I don't, I can't remember if it's towards min, towards max. You can see opponent here doesn't even test it. This is just essentially just shooting blind. So that's the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to test for min, max. Because how do you know whether you're doing a two per ring or you're doing a four? It's, you know, twice the adjustment and. You just need to know where you are in that span. Otherwise, you're just blindly guessing as to how far you are away from the hole. So here you can see, uh, putting a little bit light on the adjustment. So with me, you know, I can still technically run this in. Thinking maybe what 2.5 ish, 2.2, 2.2 to 2.5 per ring, somewhere in that range. Other than that, you still need to play wind effect though. So I'm going to kind of offset this somewhere like this. And at 2.2, we're talking four rings. Four rings may be a little bit much. Maybe 3.8 rings here. Really just need perfect ball more so than anything, though. To even get a chance, it's got to be a perfect. Sure enough, there's a great ball, so it's going to slide off to the right. <clears throat> but there you see, you know, even from the rough, that's one of the main reasons that I'll do it, is you still have a very good chance that you can hold it out. So good luck with that hole, guys, and I'll see you on the last one.